Hey guys, welcome to podcast episode 351. This may be about Halloween, Halloween and this may be about on Halloween night in 2019, 21-year-old Curry Curry had babysit a young boy named Jeremy Iron who pushed a prank on him by locking him inside the attic. Just as Jeremy's parents come home, Curry kicks the door open and accidentally knocks Jimmy over a staircase running to this death. Curry is rested for a what's it bring it to second get big man rescue but is cleared by the judge not with uh the citizens of Higherfield to make Curry an outcast. We years later to the town of Highfield, no noise is still raining from the aftermath of Macamara Radio Killing Spree in 2018. While Marco has vanished, Rain Stone is winning a winter in weaving with her granddaughter Allison. Meanwhile, Curry is working at his stepfather's prison yard. On his way home, one day he is close by half school brief and interests himself in the process and for serving really brings him to the other office where Allison works. Allison and Curry develop a membership and later attend the Halloween party where Curry is confirmed by Mrs. Allen. Curry leaves the party and runs into the bullies who throw him out of the bridge. On consciousness, he is dragged into the sewer. The widow took by Marco, who physically lets him go. He, he cuts out. Curry is undone by Hermit's men in a struggle. Curry stabs the man to death and free. At dinner date, Allison's ex boyfriend, he, he sees her ready to Curry ready, ready him into the trail to be killed by Marco. Allison is passed over for a permanent mission at work and a favor dog for up in nuts, who is having a affair with the doctor. But that night, Curry kills the doctor at his home where Marcus kills the nuts. And I know he also plans to be out of here. Raven is a Curry because of the past trauma. While Curry realizes Curry is better about Marcus' evil, Curry finds Curry sleeping in a spot where Jimmy, Jimmy died and efforts to help him on the decision that he distanced himself from Allison. Curry was stuck by being with her for the events that have recently occurred in Highfield. And says he, he cannot have eyes and no what will. Curry returns to the sewer where he successfully fights Marco for his mask and remarks on the map page murdering a brief after returning them to Samson Yard. One other room accidentally kills Curry's stepfather. He goes on to kill his mother, a DJ, and worker, Will Jason, who
who had destroyed him earlier, and basically be the real distance distance you know, at the Woodstone House we fake the you know, suicide tap to her to her move to see to down to still Curry then stab stab himself in the neck taking a frame really for his dead and you find on your rabbi Ison who leaves in a different marker Marco Sunny arrives missing his mask and kills Curry in a fight you see in the kitchen and he managed to pin Marco to the kitchen table and you sit his throat after the struggle I think give up the two behind Curry's dead after finishing a call from W. Frank. Hopkins returns to help. Some do and finally kill Marco by slashing his wrist. Yuri and Allison take Marco's body to the cemetery yard by police resort. Instructing the residents of Highfield who followed them in a person and the birth of the red in a shutter. In the two days, Ison and Yuri recall the Ison Reeve Highfield while he finished her murder and recovered her romance with Hawkins. Alright, guys. This episode. Alright, that's it. Bye.